I'm out here at the Brunswick Nature Park today, which is infested with bike trails, and I'm going to see if the Van Powers Manaday is as good on a trail as it was on the beach in my last video. Stay tuned. This park has an extensive trail complex with trails ranging in skill level from beginner to expert. Well, this is such a powerful bike that what I'm going to do first is take it on an easy trail to get familiar with how it reacts and how steerable it is in some of these narrow pathways through all the dense forest that you see behind me. You know, the fact that this thing has such a powerful drivetrain with the 750 watt motor and the eight speed Shimano shifting system makes me want to be a little bit cautious. Now, what I've discovered so far is that if I'm in pedal assist one, the power doesn't really kick in until I really start pushing on the pedals, which kind of mimics a torque system instead of a cadence system. So we'll see how that goes. So right now, I'm going to head on down, get on an easy trail, put my helmet on, and then see how this thing goes. We'll see if I can break a headlight or something like else like that, like I did the last time I was out here. Hopefully not. Here we are. We're going to start on the cane brake trail. That way I can get used to this bike and see how it works. Oh yeah, this is a nice easy trail. No roots in the way. So far I'm in uh, pedal assist at zero. And I'm in gear two. So this heavy bike it weighs, uh, what, 72 pounds or so moves pretty easily over this level terrain. Well, I'm up in gear three right now, moving at about eight miles an hour, and this is comfortable. I can see how you get a lot of range out of this bike, since on flat terrain, you really don't need to use much in terms of the pedal assist. Well, we'll try it on some hilly trails in a minute. Here we are, we're gonna get ready to go on the an intermediate trail now, the Gator Trail. You can see it uh, behind me. And I've got Steve Sharon with me in case I have a heart, heart attack. Oh my God. Of course, I'm not sure he's gonna be able to keep this, up with me. Is this the easy trail? Because what you just took me on about killed me. Is this the easy trail? No, no, this is a little bit harder. Oh my God. But don't worry, oh. we leave no man behind, oh. except for maybe him. We're back on the Gator Trail here. This is a little more challenging. It's a blue intermediate level trail. And you can see instantly that it weaves around these trees a lot tighter than that beginner level trail. But with these mountain bike handlebars, I feel like I've got great control over this bike. And again, I'm in zero, no power assist, just cruising right along here. Tight turns. Still, I have used no pedal assist and no throttle. It's amazing that I can push this heavy bike through this trail without needing a help. Well, I'm averaging about seven miles an hour. Not bad. A little bit of jump. Up a hill. Boy, this is getting tough. Bouncing around here. We should break out into this open field here in a minute and take a break. One of the great things about having a nice trail bike is you can get to beautiful places like this. This again is in the nature park but you can see that it's on Town Creek. I'm here at the kayak launch, and isn't that pretty? This is what can happen when you have a good trail bike. Well, let me head on back to the parking lot and we'll do a wrap on this. Well, here's a decent little hill. What I want to see now is the motor powerful enough when I put the throttle on to not only get me up that hill, but to accelerate. Let's go. 
I'm not pedaling at all. Throttle's picking up, already up to six miles an hour. No problem at all. All right. Boy, that was a lot of fun. This bike has everything I need to handle these trails back here, even when they're pretty narrow. Now, one of the things I just discovered, because my buddy was out here on an e-bike as well, is that I've got full power of the throttle, even if I'm in pedal assist level zero. And given that I was in pedal assist level zero for basically the entire time I was on these trails, that was critical because whenever I hit a little bit of a hill, I could hit that throttle, move up the hill, and then continue to go. Whereas my friend had to be in pedal assist level one before he could use his throttle. And that can be a little bit sporty on some of these trails because now you'll catapult up and you've got to be able to slow back down. So in terms of this bike itself had plenty of power to get on these trails. I love the mountain bike style handlebars that gave me very positive control on some of those tight and twisty turns back there. The only negative I've got in terms of usability of this bike is I really wish the display was a little bit brighter. Uh, sometimes in some places it was a little bit shaded and I couldn't see uh, my pedal assist level and the speed very well. Another critical feature for these tight trails back here is the brake system. The fact that this has 203 millimeter disc rotors on the Logan brake system was critical in terms of controlling my descent and moving into some of these little tight turns. Very responsive. I love the grips on the handle on the uh, brake pedals. Very ergonomic and I always felt like I had positive control. Out of the box the Shimano shifter was smooth, never had any lag, flipped right into gear, everything was good. So my bottom line is this is a pretty awesome bike. It's got some nits and things like that that I'll cover in a features video. Like for example, all the electronics on the battery are down here at the bottom and I worry about rain getting in there, but this is probably one of the best bikes I've been on. If you have experience with this bike, throw the comments down below. I love it. 